Hey second graders, now we're going to work on our comprehension skill of the week. This week, we are going to be learning about identifying the problem and the solution in our stories. Remember that we will be reading fables this week. Those are made up stories that teach us a lesson and they have a beginning, middle, and end. Let's learn more about problem and solution. The plot is often about the problem in the story. The solution is how the characters solve the problem by the end of the story. Remember, we learned about plot last week, that the plot is what happens in the beginning, middle, and end. And oftentimes, the plot is about the problem. So we're learning about problems and solutions for our characters. This week, we will be using the graphic organizer that looks like this. In the top box, problem is listed. In the second box, the steps to the solution. And finally, the third box, the solution. We're going to keep this graphic organizer in mind as you listen to me read the story. You will need your turn practice book, page 63. If you do not have the book with you right now, please pause this video and go find it. Join us when you're ready. This is page 63. I'm going to read the story out loud as you follow along. As I read, I'm going to be identifying the problems and the solution in the story. The directions read, read the passage, use the make prediction strategy to predict what will happen in the story. Fox gets help. One day, Fox was walking in the woods. High in a tree, he saw a nice bunch of grapes. Those will make a healthful snack, Fox thought. He jumped up to get the grapes. Fox nearly reached the grapes, but he could not jump high enough. He really wanted those grapes. So Fox made a plan. He got a ladder and leaned it on the tree. He should be able to reach the grapes easily. All right, second graders, I'm going to stop and think. Did you all find the problem that Fox is having? What do you think the problem is? Hmm. You got it. I knew you could figure it out. The problem is Fox cannot reach the grapes. So now we have to start thinking about what is Fox going to do to solve his problem? And I think we just read that he went to get a ladder and he leaned it on the tree. Second graders, what do you think he's going to do with that ladder? Hmm. You've got it. He's going to climb the ladder to reach the grapes. So his first step to solving his problem is that Fox tries to use a ladder. Second graders, do you think it's going to work on the first try? Let's read to find out. The wind began blowing strongly. As Fox stepped up to the ladder, the wind blew it down on the ground. This happened over and over again. Fox sighed loudly. <sighs> he was about to give up. Then Turtle crept up slowly. Turtle had an idea that was helpful. He would hold the ladder tightly while Fox climbed up. Fox went up the ladder and picked the bunch of grapes. When Fox was safely back on the ground, he shared the grapes with Turtle. Fox was thankful for his friend's help. Sometimes it takes a friend to help you reach a goal. And second graders, I'm thinking about how this is a fable and a fable is meant to teach us something. And usually in fables, the last few sentences tell us the lesson. So I'm gonna reread that last sentence. It says, Sometimes it takes a friend to help you reach a goal. Wow, I think that's what this story was trying to teach me, that sometimes you can't do things on your own and you need a friend to help you. In this case, Turtle helped Fox. And we saw that the solution was Turtle helps hold the ladder for Fox so he can reach the grapes. Because the ladder by itself didn't work since the wind blew it over. He needed a friend to help him hold it steady. And now, second graders, you are looking at the 
question page on page 65. Let's read the questions together. Remember to answer each question in complete sentences using a capital letter to start and end with a period. Number one, what was the problem in the story? You can go back and re-listen to this video if you cannot remember it. What was the problem in the story? Number two, what steps did Fox take to solve the problem? Does anyone remember what went in our second box? And lastly, number three, what was Fox's solution to the problem? Well, second graders, we can answer numbers one, two, and three by looking back at our graphic organizer that I created for us while reading the story. It clearly lays out the problem, the steps to the solution, and the final solution. So this information can help you answer questions one, two, and three on page 65. Thanks so much for working with me today, second graders. And remember to be keeping your eyes out for the problems in your story as you read at home and the stories we read together, searching for the problem and the solution. Have a great day, second grade.